ClassicGameRoom.com Sit back and relax, it's that special time, it's classic game room time. What happens when you combine Super Mario Kart with Formula One? You get this game, F1, Race Stars. It's like I've said time and time and time again, you can make a kart racing game out of just about anything, including Real race car drivers, imagine that. Lewis Hamilton, Michael Schumacher, they're amateurs when it comes to kart racing compared to the masters like Mario and Yoshi. Man, I hope they get to kick back and collect a fat check from this. As silly as it might seem, F1 Race Stars is actually a pretty good kart racing game. Do not go into this one expecting the traditional F1 series from Codemasters. This is meant to be silly, and silly it is. But it's also vibrant and colorful with creative track designs. I like that racing through Belgium puts you through a brewery. Why can't I just stop there for a while? I don't, I don't want to complete the race. Just give me another glass of Chimay. This is published by Codemasters, who's known for the Dirt and F1 series of racing games, and they usually do a great job, so I went into this expecting a good game, and I'm not disappointed. It's a good kart racing game, a little bit more challenging than normal. These games are pretty much a dime a dozen these days. Everybody has a silly kart racing game. Everybody except God of War. Uh, reference my Ascension review for that. Even NASCAR has their share of silly kart racing games. But F1 just kind of seems like overkill, doesn't it? Well, this is probably aimed at kids, but it's fun for the whole family. F1 Race Stars is easy to pick up and play. If you've ever played a kart racing game, you'll know exactly what to do. The wacky tracks in the game are all inspired by the actual F1 tracks, and it's just a tough game because the other racers are aggressive and and they're really mean they're out to put you into a wall and you take a lot of damage easily in f1 race stars which means you have to pit and as you know that slows you down like brakes which is why you should never use them are there actual giant sumo wrestlers in f1 because if there's not there should be Here's the racers in the game. All of these people and no Sonic the Hedgehog. Blasphemy. Each driver has their own unique special power-up thing. As far as I can tell, they're all pretty much the same speed. Probably because they'd get their panties into a bunch if one was programmed faster than the other. It's hard to look at the game and say where F1 Race Stars really stands out from, from other kart racing games. It obviously has the F1 license and the F1 tracks, which are longer than usual, so they try to incorporate lots of different things from each of the countries. It's all well done, and the driving in the game is pretty solid, too, for a kart racing game. It's not too silly. You're not just trying to drift constantly. You actually try to race when playing F1 Race Stars, except watch your back because somebody will try to shoot you with a big yellow balloon. Or a red balloon. Maybe 99 of them if you're lucky. There's a career mode which is similar to pretty much every other kart racing game. You win races and unlock new races. This has online multiplayer, local split screen for up to four players, and time trials. This is the downloadable Europe track, but Where's my track based on Pennsylvania? With giant potholes like Sarlacc pits waiting to devour F1 cars whole. Which is why we all drive monster trucks over here. Focus Mark back on topic. As you can see the game is fun and colorful. It's a kart racing game. It's exactly what a kart racing game should be. 
And for that, I'll give it credit. It doesn't try anything too ambitious. There's some different race modes depending on which series of championships you're in or whatever. But I like the track designs and the predictable feel of the game. It's hard to say this really stands out. It would need some actual drivers like Mario and Sonic to do that. I mean, who do these posers think they are? What's next? The Michael Schumacher first-person shooter action space adventure game? I hope so, because that would be weird. <laughs>